Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, furniture nodes. Uh, when you're in the InView client and you have the furniture tools up and you select the move tool, whenever you hover the cursor over a furniture item that can be moved, you'll get the uh, move tool. And as you click on it and try to move it around, you'll see these yellow spots that will pop up. And the spots are telling you where there are furniture nodes in the area that you can move to. Uh, for every one of these dots, there is a node that has been built in by the developer of the room in the model itself that says this is a location where you can place a furniture item. Once that item is placed on a furniture node you can use the other tools in the furniture toolbar to move and scale and reposition uh, your uh, f your furniture item. Uh, but I wanted to talk about how these nodes are placed and uh, it can be pretty daunting to try to figure out how to put so many of these in an environment and uh, I have a, a relatively quick trick for bringing in nodes into your finished room model so we'll go over to Max and have a look at that. Okay, now I'm in uh, 3D Max, and uh, this is the geometry for that room I was just in, that little cafe. And uh, these little uh, green boxes on the floor and on the ceiling, these are furniture nodes. And they've been placed here so that I can place furniture on each of them. And it may seem a little daunting to have so many of these boxes in here. And I assure you that as you get into more complex room, rooms, you'll be filling these uh, spaces with hundreds and hundreds of these nodes. But I wanted to show you how to import them and how to place them in a way that's a little less scary than it might appear when you first look at them. Okay, to show you how I'm going to import furniture nodes, I've taken the same room and I've deleted both the uh, floor and the ceiling nodes. And what I have left is I have the room, I have my avatars and the nodes attributed to the avatars, I have uh, a camera, and I have some other pieces of furniture in here. Um, I'm going to select the room and, and hide everything but that empty room. And so I'm ready to go. My room has all been teched. It's been textured. The avatars have been placed in there. The root node is there. My last task is going to be to import the furniture nodes. So you have your room and it's ready for furniture nodes. And one method uh, is you could actually create each node individually. You could create uh, a dummy node just like you did for your root or for your avatar and then replicate it all over the surface. But one of the easier ways is to actually import nodes from another file. And so in the, uh, the tutorial for uh, the furniture nodes, we've actually included a link to a Max file that has nodes that you can merge um, those nodes or import those nodes into your model. So I'm going to go to to that file so you can have a look at it. And it's called uh, furniture nodes.max. And it looks like this. Really it's just a very, very simple room and it has both uh, you know floor nodes, wall nodes, and ceiling nodes. And uh, what's great is you may probably will never ever need to open this file, but it is a resource for you to be able to basically uh, import uh, existing uh, furniture nodes and then place them in your model. So I'm going to go back to my, uh, my cafe interior and I'm going to go up to, uh, to import and I'm going to choose merge and then I'm going to go to that, that furniture node file. I'm going to click open. And then at the moment, just to start out, it's always easier to work on one surface at a time. So I'm going to select just the floor nodes. And this window has popped up to tell me, to ask me the question, what is it that I want to bring into my model? So I'm going to choose just the floor nodes, click OK, and it pops them right into the middle of my room. And for some reason, it tends to pop it in on its side. So what I have to do is I have to make sure that these nodes, which are actually floor nodes, are pointing in the right direction. Um, the way that I figure that out is if I go up to here, which is the reference coordinate system pull down, at the moment, by default, it says view. If I change that to local, and then I take a look at these, I notice that right now the X is pointing up and the Z is pointing off in this direction. I want to make sure that the Z is always pointing into the room. And since these are going to be floor nodes, nodes, I have to make sure that these nodes are actually on the floor pointing up into the room. So I select all these nodes 
and then I choose the uh, rotate tool and I want to also make sure that this uh, angle snap toggle uh, button is chosen so that when I tr rotate this it rotates in increments so that it will snap to uh, a position as opposed to me trying to eyeball it. So I'm going to move this over here. I can now double check to make sure that all of these are pointing up. Yes, the Z is pointing up into the room. I'm going to change this back to view and now it's time for me to to uh, bring these nodes into my model and place just as many as necessary to fill the space. Now it's time for me to bring these nodes in. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to click the uh, top view and I'm going to look at this as a wireframe and I'm going to grab all these nodes and I'm going to move them and line them up pretty much to to one part of my room. So uh, in the corners I really don't need a node in the corner uh, so I'm going to just move these so that just part, part of this fits in and then anything that's sort of sticking out I'm going to get rid of. So I'm going to select just those items that are sort of hovering outside of the floor and delete those. Grab these grab these, delete those, and I'm going to grab these and delete these. And this little lone guy out here, I'm going to get rid of him too. Okay, I'm not worried too much about uh, the naming convention because I'm in, undoubtedly throwing away stuff that's that's in the list of node numbers. Like right here I've got, uh, what is that, furniture node 124, and over here I've got furniture number 15. I'm not really worried about making sure that they're numbered correctly, just that they're that the numbers are sequential. I just want to make sure that um, they're all named uh, correctly. And in this case, uh, floor nodes need to have the name furniture.floor. and then a number. And I also have to make sure that none of those numbers repeat. So I can uh, copy and paste or replicate any one of these nodes and it automatically will be given a number that is different than any other node in the environment. So, uh, but since I'm importing this, I don't really have to worry about it. So I'm going to just make sure I position these nicely, deselect the room. So that's looking good. And now I want to look at it from from the front or the side. How about the, from the front? And I need to position the middle part of this node, which is these nodes, uh, so that they're slightly above the surface of the floor. And the reason why I do that is because sometimes furniture items will come with a, shadow, a cast shadow. And if you were to move this node below the surface, that shadow would disappear underneath the surface of the floor. And if it was right exactly on the surface, uh, you might have sort of a buffering or a, a shimmering as your uh, the 3D window is attempting to try to decide whether it's going to show the floor or the shadow. Uh, this can happen too with carpets. So I'm going to actually make sure that this node is just slightly above the floor. Okay. And now all my floor nodes are ready to go. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to import my ceiling nodes. And to do that, I'm going to select uh, my room and I'm going to hide all. So I'm going to hide those floor nodes so they don't confuse me later. So uh, hide unselected. And I'm going to go through that same process I did with the uh, importing of the, uh, the floor nodes. I'm going to go up to uh, to import and choose merge. I'm going to go back to that same furniture node file. I'm going to open that up. And this time instead of grabbing the floor nodes, I'm going to grab the ceiling nodes. And you should customarily use less on the ceiling only because you aren't going to be putting that much stuff up there. I usually will put up several dozen uh, depending on where our, our, our choice places you might want to put hanging down lights or chandeliers or fans. Click OK and once again it's popped in uh, on its side so I'm going to move them over and I'm going to change this back to local. And now it's showing me that the Z is pointing in this direction and I want to make sure the Z in this case because it's a ceiling node is pointing down into the room. To do that, I'm going to select all these, select my rotate tool, making sure that my, the, uh, the angle snap toggle has been chosen, and I'm going to uh, flatten it out. I'm just going to roughly move it up, change this local back to view, and go to a top view. 
And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just sort of hover them roughly over the top of my room on the plan view. And then here I want to do basically the same thing I did on the floor. I want to make sure that these nodes are hanging down below the ceiling just slightly. And that looks good. Then if I look back at the top, I noticed that these nodes that I brought in didn't completely feel, fill the ceiling. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select these four nodes here. And holding the Shift key, I'm just going to replicate them back like that. Now if I go back to this view and I unhide all, You'll see now I have a room and it has my avatars and it has uh, the camera and all these nodes are in place. And my last step is I need to make sure that these nodes are uh, linked to the root node. At the moment, if I look up in the hierarchy, you'll see that they're not actually indented. So they're not, um, as, they're not connected to anything at the moment. So now we're going to make sure that all these nodes are linked to um, uh, to the root node. So I'm going to go up to the uh, the hierarchy, the uh, select from scene, and I'm going to select uh, just the skeleton and all these furniture nodes. Okay, so they're selected, and I'm going to uh, hide unselected. So now all I have to worry about is that I have to worry about making sure that just the ceiling nodes and the floor nodes are visible along with the root node. And then I go up, back up here and I'm going to select everything uh, in this scene except for the root node or the skeleton node. Click OK. So they're all selected but the root node is not. Go up here to this uh, select and link button. Click on it. And I'm just going to grab one of these uh, nodes and I'm going to just drag the pointer while holding to the root node and let go. There we go. And now if I check my list, it shows that all these all these furniture nodes are now linked to the root node. And uh, once that's done, I can unhide everything. And I'm ready to export. And I just export the uh, the the root node like I would you know any root node for a furniture or for a room and save it as an XSF and uh, all of my furniture nodes and my ceiling nodes and, and wall nodes if you put them in the walls as well will be available for people to put furniture in when they visit InView.